All right, so I wanna dig in and give you guys a little demonstration on building a virtual tour with Teleport Me. Teleport Me is a very, very good virtual tour platform. It's simple, but it's powerful, and you can have extremely high resolution panoramas. So I already built the tour, and this is it right here. Um, but I'm going to start all over with it. I'm not going to upload anything because it just takes too long. So I've already pre-uploaded, and I'm just going to start from scratch here. Um, if you want to create a new tour, you just click this button right here, and you hit Create Tour. Put the name in, and then you hit, you know, you can choose whether you want it public, private, or enlisted. And then you create it, and it's going to build, it's going to put the stub in there for you to create your new, new tour. So I'm going to come right into this. Um, give me one second here. All right. So after you upload and you create your tour, you're going to come to this screen right here. This is the screen that you're going to see. And I only put three of them in here just for simple demonstration reasons. So after you're done with this, you can re you can kind of reorder, change the order of everything, and you just drag it around and move it around to wherever you want it. Now it's very very important that you have these all in order. Main reason is your first panel here is going to be the first one in your tour. And then after that, you want it to be linear. You want it to kind of, you want your panels to kind of go along with the tour. So it's easier for the client or the end user to see where they're at and choose where they want to go. All right, so now that this is done, I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna click on the edit button and it's gonna bring us into the editor. And this here is the editor. And the nice thing is, is the editor actually run, uh, loads these up in high resolution. So as you're editing, you're seeing the full resolution of each of your panoramas. So you don't have to like stop, preview, go back, and do all that other stuff. So you're actually working in the full resolution file. So when you first come in here, you're going to see this little bullseye. This is the initial position. The initial, initial position is generally on most cameras 360 cameras is going to be your front facing lens. Like for instance, I use the Theta Z1. This is the front facing lens. This is the way it was facing and this is where it's going to automatically put my initial position. But of course, that's never really going to be exactly where you want it to be most of the time. So they actually allow you to drag this around anywhere you want. So being that this is the next step in the tour, I'm going to put my initial position right there. Um, let's see this. I'm just going to delete that real quick. All right. So as you see, things move really, really smooth in the editor, even at high res. So I'm going to add a new hotspot. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put this hotspot on the ground, on the floor. And I prefer my hotspots on the floor because if somebody's looking at this through a mobile phone, it's a floating hotspot just literally just covers what you want them to see. And I, I think they're pointless for like real estate because probably, I don't know the exact specific uh, uh, statistics, but I'm willing to bet it's 80% are using their phone to look at these virtual tours and look at these houses because they're out on the road. They're in our office they're working they're busy so they're using their phone now i don't really want this icon i don't want the hotspot icon so i'm going to change it i really like this one this is brand new that they just put in there same with actually most of these they did a really good job with them so i'm going to put that on there like so and then i'm going to come over here to link and i want this to go to the dining room just like that and once that's done, you can change the name of this. So right now it's saying living room. I'm just going to call it L room just for demonstration reasons. And you click save, bam, it changes it here and it changes up on a title at the top of the screen. So I'm going to move to the next one, next panel. Let's go ahead and get rid of that one. And get rid of that one. So now I want a backlink. Put that on the floor. And I 
want to leave that back to the living room. Um, here's another nice thing that you can do as well. When you come into, let's see here, go into tour, you can update settings. And here you can choose the default hotspots. So it defaults to this guy here automatically, I, but I don't want that. So I'm going to set the default. So now every single time I put down a new hotspot, as you'll see here, bam, it's automatically the hotspot that I want. So it saves you a couple extra clicks each time, which, you know, you're doing 20, 30 panos with back backlinks and everything like that. That's going to save you some time. Let's link that to the kitchen. All right. So I'm going to move to the kitchen here. And again, that's my initial position. I want to change it to that. And I want to change the name of this because for some reason I call it dining room instead of kitchen. Shows how smart I am. All right. So I'm just going to add a backlink. Put that on the floor. And let's see, that looks kind of small to me. So I want to change the size of it. Make it a little bigger. There we go. That looks good. And let's link that to back to the dining room. And that's a cool feature that they put in. This is all new. This is some new stuff that, that they added since I was last in it yesterday. Or day before yesterday. That's cool. Alright. So now, technically, this three pano virtual tour is for the most part done um, but there are a couple little things that we can add as well so like let's say instead of a hotspot so I click on add new I can drop this down and I can add YouTube video a URL that opens up a website uh, I can put an image in there audio sound uh, or text so let's just add some text to it so let's just call this kitchen why not hit save and there it is that that will be in the in the panel now you can add a full-on description uh, whatever you want into this so now I'm going to come back to the initial one here so now you have some different little settings here that you can actually change around if you want to if you don't like the initial zoom if you want it to be zoomed out more there we go you can bring this out and then you can automatically apply it to every single one in a tour so every time you get there you're gonna get this crazy fisheye look which i personally hate so or you can go completely zoomed in it's however you want to do it this is your this is yours so you choose how you want to do this thing so here we go i got it at 50 i think that might actually be a little too much I think the default's like 68 or something. Yeah, that looks good. And then the pitch limit is going to limit just how far you can look up or down. So like I have it at 48 and 120, I can't move up or down. So if you don't want somebody seeing like, if you don't want somebody seeing like the your nadir, uh, or nadir, then you can just do it like that so that they can't look straight down at your tripod or monopod. And you can save yourself some time on editing that way too. All right. So once that's done, and you know, there's quite a bit of different little things. Like for instance, here, you can add a, a nadir to your, to your tour. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't have any because I removed mine. But you would just simply upload an image, and you put it right in here, and you can have you can have your uh, Nader logo on there. All right, so now let's go into preview, take a peek at it. So this is pretty much at the point where what a customer would see or a client, just like this. And click. There we go. Very nice. So 
So there you go. There is a basic three panel tour for demonstration purposes. Um, up here under the info and over here you got an icon. I'll show you here in just a second how to change that. And it's actually kind of, kind of a cool thing. So let's get out of this. So you're all done. You look at it. Everything looks good. Everything looks great. You're ready to, you're ready to save it or ready to make a, get an embedded code to give to your client or put on a website or whatever you want to do with that. So you come over here and you come into the share and let's see logo, go with custom and let's see, I got a customer's one in there. Uh, okay, well, let's just let's just go ahead and just I'm just gonna throw that in there. Why not? Um, and then I'm going to make it bigger. There we go. So you can change the size. You can also change the transparency of it. So if you wanted to, as you can see here, um, let's see. Auto rotate is going to start this right here, where your tour is going to automatically rotate. Now, every time you change these, uh, when you click on the share on your tour, it's going to create a new link. So this one right here with the logo and with your info is not going to be an MLS approved tour, but it is going to be a, what they call a branded tour. So I'm going to stop this here real quick because I absolutely can't stand it. Um, your info button is going to be tour created by so on and so forth. Now, this one is the branded. So you come over here and you can get the embed code right here, the iframe embed. And then you can just get a straight out link. And you can actually share right to your social media if you like. The MLS one, I'm going to show you here in just a second. MLS requires uh, a URL to be X amount of characters. Um, I, I don't know what the length is. I think it's 21 or something like that i don't know but it, it doesn't matter if it's shorter or longer your url it has to be exactly that for mls so they were good enough to put that in there for us which is great so what i'm going to do with this one is i'm going to click save so there we go these settings are updated now i'm going to get out of here come back into here click on share and i am going to change this to no logo remove the info button let's see yep there we go I'm gonna click on MLS and now it's copied to my clipboard and click save I'm gonna come up here and click that And here you go. This is an MLS approved virtual tour now. No branding, no info, no logos, nothing. And uh, the link is the, the correct size. So your client, your real estate client or whoever, this would be what you'd give to them for an MLS listing. So you give them both of them actually. So now I got this open. I'm gonna come over here and hit share. And I'm just gonna do this again real quick. I'm just gonna go default with it. It's fine. Info. It's copied. It's save. Here we go. See, it's this has got the the branding on it. I come over here. This is the MLS one. And as you see, that link, even though I refreshed it, it's still going to be different from the MLS one and the branded one are going to be different because they're actually different links. So it creates a virtual copy, one with branding, one without branding. Which is nice because some, some virtual tour platforms out there, they force you to actually clone it and make a copy of it or upload all your panels and create the tour again for a second time for MLS and one for branded. So this is a nice feature that they that they offer us and it works fantastic. So that's pretty much it. And there's a lot more you can do with it. You can just dig in and start playing around and having some fun. But I would definitely check it out. 
Um, the pricing is good. It's it's got great pricing. You, it's pretty much unlimited. Here, let me pull up the pricing here for you. So you have free. It's unlimited panoramas. 20 meg max on these. It's iOS and Android app free version. Um, there's actually you can download P360 for your Android or your iOS. It's a nice little panorama uh, app that works fantastic. Um, unlimited, unlimited embed. Well, as you can see, 4K resolution, which is nuts. Uh, let's see. Then you have the Essential, which is 30 meg max, unlimited, everything, 8K resolution. And then you got Business for 35 per month, looking at unlimited 50 meg max. And you have Enterprise, which is 100 meg max, 16K resolution on your virtual tours. So, yeah. Check it out. Give them a try. And again, this is Matt with Crow Wing Photography, and I thank you for watching us. Have a great day.